So we're here at um, Tyrell Dewar's house, surprising him and hopefully get a good reaction. Hey, hey Brad. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hey there. Yeah. Jersey for you, man. Thank you. Cheers. You stoked? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you? That's how are you? Jai. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was up for about 2 o'clock last night. I was messaging one of the other boys that got drafted, Jordy Baker, and we were just messaging each other if we were going to get picked up or not. And I got the call and I was just pretty stoked. Oh, my family just jumped over me and all that, so yeah, it was pretty good. I think we went out to, to Tyrell's house and a lot of the family have come up from Kalgoorlie to support him over the last couple of days and we were able to surprise him and go in and yeah, celebrate with the family. They're so proud and he got to meet some of the staff and got to choose his jumper number, which is exciting. Where's Jack? What number? Come here. Which number? Yeah. 42? Yeah. It's really pleasing. Yeah, you know, these boys join us for their journey from 13, 14 years old. Tyrell's from Kalgoorlie and made the trip up and, and Geordie's a local boy. So to watch them grow up, develop their footy, get opportunity and then get the reward of being signed by the footy club is just fantastic for the program and fantastic for the boys. Uh, how's it going? Ben Miller. Jordan, nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the club. Congrats. So proud of you. Yeah. Happy days. I'm grateful to be able to present this to you. So, there you go, mate. Yeah, I was lucky enough to come and meet Jordy. Got to meet his family and celebrate his draft journey and congratulate him and welcome to the club. Seeing his family and just the pure joy and all their faces, it just brought back so many memories and yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's been a bit overwhelming, pretty nerve wracking as well. Just going through it, like with the family as well, and finally finding out, yeah, it's been a pretty good few hours and yeah, I definitely won't forget it. Barracking for West Coast all throughout um, my younger years and to be playing for them, yeah, it's just a great moment. It feels amazing. Yeah, he's got a bright future and it's exciting times. They look like really good players, so it's only going to make the group better and push us all to drive those standards and have a better year next year. So the Next Generation Academy program, which started in 2017 for the AFL, really focused on giving boys of First Nation and multicultural backgrounds a bigger opportunity to play elite football. And you know, obviously we've got our metro and our country regions of where we can choose these players from. And having someone like BHP to give us the resources to go all around the state, invest uh, with our coaches and our resources and our training to give these boys a chance to play AFL footy is just, yeah, can't put a price on it. It's fantastic. And getting two boys up this year really tops it off.